Hi guys, and welcome to our latest edition of Property TV. On today's program, we've got Mick Copeland from Being Professional Garden Maintenance and Landscaping to have a chat to us about how best to keep our gardens going through the summer months. But before we go to that, here's Kevin Turner with the very latest in property news. Thank you. Well, the Real Estate Institute of Australia says that all first home buyers should receive a first home owner's grant, not just people buying new homes. Real Estate Institute of Australia President Pamela Bennett says she's concerned by moves in New South Wales, Queensland and South Australia to limit the grant to first home buyers purchasing new homes only. While the new $15,000 first home owner's construction grant in Queensland will actually be worth more than the previous $7,000 first home owner's grant, the Real Estate Institute of Queensland fears the response of prospective home buyers will not be what the state government is hoping for, and that is a boost to both the housing industry and the construction sector. REIQ CEO Anton Kadesh says that's not going to be the case. Because their figures show only 24% of first home buyers opted to buy a new home when the first homeowners boost, which featured up to $21,000 for new builds, was in play during the GFC. He says the main reason for that is that new homes are usually too expensive for first time buyers and they're often located in outlying suburbs where young people simply don't want to live. Good morning and welcome to the show. I'm Kevin Turner. We're here to talk real estate. Whether you're following the property market or just interested in what's going on, Australasia's number one independent real estate advisor, Kevin Turner, has the answers. Every Saturday, 8 to 9 on 4BC. Thanks very much for that, Kevin. We do appreciate the update each month. Well, Mick, um, thanks for joining us today. Right, uh, coming up to the, the summer months and the warmer weather, I know that you've got some good tips on how to keep uh, the, the grass you know, going really well, as well as um, some tips on the, uh, the, the general gardening and landscaping. Yes. Um, with my place recently, you suggested a couple of things uh, with the, the lawn. Um, if you could just share with the guys what, what you've said. Yeah, we could top dress, fertilise. Well, there's another way we could bring in an aerator and just aerate it. Yeah. Just um, punches holes into the grass. Yep. Um, and one of the reasons for that, uh, you said, was just to break through that top barrier of soil um, because it is so hot at the moment, it's, yeah. it's, it's quite hard for the moisture and the nutrients to get through. Yes. Is there anything, uh, if someone was planting anything now, uh, would you have any suggestions about what would be um, you know, a good hardy uh, plant that's going to last you know, through the, the tougher times? Yeah, they all pretty much need some water. Yep. You know, you can go your natives, but yep. they're going to need a little bit of water yep. and fertilise. Yeah. Obviously, with the natives, one of the benefits of that is, um, you know, it brings in a lot of the native birds as well, which yeah. I've I've seen at a lot of a lot of places, which is a, a bonus. And mate, um, a lot of our clients, they're they're looking for an easy way to increase the value of their home, either before selling it or after they've purchased the home. Yes. Um, is there any any sort of basic things that you've done for uh, some other clients that have you know really brought a place uh, to life with, yeah, you know, not a, a massive budget? Yeah. You know, it could be just going in and tidying everything up, putting in some mulch, um, some rock. Whichever yep. one they prefer. Um, they've got coloured mulch out now. Yep. Your blacks, your reds. So, yeah. you, so you can have it have it themed. I know that you mentioned that uh, you had had someone recently that um, uh, had had quite a, a big area done, and it was in the red the red uh, bark. Yep. So I'm um, here to actually do that. Um, they put it in a big mixer. Um, put in whatever colour they want, whether it's blue, black, red. Um, add the water, and it's um, it's good for about three to four years. Cool. Yeah, and obviously that sort of thing's quite resistant to termites as well because it's usually yeah. treated, isn't it? Yeah, the so, cypress. Yes. Cypress pine. Mate, well, look, I appreciate that. Now, if any of the, the guys who are watching the show wanted to have a chat to you, could you just give them their, uh, your details and, um, and, and they can ring you? Yep, Michael Copeland on 0405 164 675. Look, and I can thoroughly uh, vouch for uh, for Mick. He's done done some really good jobs uh, for me. He's done some paving. Uh, he also does the maintenance on our, our office as well as our uh, our own uh, property at home. So um, I thoroughly recommend him to anyone that uh, that does need some help. And now to this month's feature property. Hi guys, and welcome to Baringa Street at Clontarf. What a wonderful place to live. It's a beautiful split level home with polished floors, new floor coverings on the upper level, as well as a magnificent modern kitchen. Guys, the rumpus room is big enough for a game of pool, or even a beer with some friends. 
and also easy access out to the entertaining area which has got room for everyone. Out the back of that is the in-ground pool. It's even got its own shade sale to keep the kids safe through summer. Look, the owners tell me that the location's second to none. You've got great neighbours, yet you're still close to everything. You're within a five minute drive of major shopping, schools and shops. Well guys, what a wonderful property that we've got down at 4 Baringa Street at Clontarf. It certainly is a great home. Now if there's any information needed on that property or any other homes that we might have for sale, please visit our website redcliffe.com.au, give us a call on 3883 or feel free to drop in any time at our office on the corner of Victoria Avenue and Arthur Street at Woody Point. Now until next time, bye for now.